As if coronavirus isn't enough for all of us to deal with, there are now reports of deadly hornets in parts of the U.S. They were a terrifying feature to the year 2020 that we just did not need. Uh, we really have no idea how bad this problem could be. Like, there could be several nests next year. Ted McFall is featured in a new documentary that follows the people trying to eradicate the giant Asian murder hornet from the United States. 60,000 of my honeybees had their heads chopped off. He's a beekeeper in Washington state and had his entire colony wiped out overnight by murder hornets. Before the incident, he says he never even heard of this predator. I guess uh, I guess I should buy a lottery ticket or something to be to be so unfortunate to be in the, the same spot where the murder hornet has established itself. The documentary takes an audience through the discovery of the hornet's presence in the U.S. and the efforts to find a hive and eradicate it. So far, environmental officials have found and removed one hive from Washington, but McFall and others say they have to stay vigilant. The reality is that all it takes is one mated queen to create a nest. And so that nest that they eradicated, they discovered several mated queens that would have attempted to create a new nest. And so thank God that one nest got eradicated, but we're not sure if we missed another one. If the hornets are able to thrive and kill honeybees across the country, it could have devastating effects on farms and our food supply. And that's why McFall says they need as much help as they can to stop these hornets. So the more people that are aware of this problem, the better chance we have of stopping it. And the only way to make right is to send them back to hell where they came from. Attack of the Murder Hornets is now streaming on Discovery+. Plus. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano.